So I did some voiceovers for my video this week. Love vomit voiceover. What? Love vomit voiceover. We are. We forever are. We are. Magic and magic and magic. So girls, um, I'm really excited this week because I have a handed item to show you. So this is only the left mitten. Um, of a pair of mittens that I'm going to do, but I did the left one. Uh, I started it on Tuesday of last week and I finished it Monday night. Um, so here we go. Mitten. And it's got these cables along the top of it. And um, this is actually one of my designs. And I'm going to type up the pattern and then my friend Christina is going to test knit it for me. And then I'm going to release the pattern for sale so people can like download it. That'll be fun. It'll be my first for sale pattern and it's the first hand knit thing that I finished in a long time and I'm really, really happy with it. It's in Malabrigo. Kristen, Patrick, you guys know what Malabrigo is. Well, Kristen, you think Malabrigo is something other than what it is, but whatever. Um, and it's glorious. And I love it. I'm also really, really, really excited about our theme this week. Oh my goodness, I got super crazy with my video this week. Keeping with our theme this week, I want you guys to know that I'm sort of a pro at reenactments. My freshman year of college, my sisters and I um, reenacted one of our favorite movies um, through film. We actually just took pictures with my old film camera because I didn't have my digital camera yet. So now I present to you So here we have The Gates of Argonath played by my sister Catherine and her friend Kirsten and now Rachel as Aragorn and me as Eowyn and here's KK as Legolas using a hula hoop as a bow Isn't Rachel such a ferocious Gimli? Look at her beard. And now Merry and Pippin and Treebeard. Treebeard is played by our Christmas tree. And here's Rachel again doing her best Gandalf. You shall not pass! And Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas. So now I guess here is my submission into the Love Vomit short film reenactment festival. That's what I'm calling it. That's what I'm calling it. So on Tuesday of last week, I got in the shower like I usually do, and I decided I was going to shave my legs. I usually shave my legs in the shower, and I think it's safe to say that in my leg shaving career, I've shaved my legs at least a million times, so I was feeling pretty confident. So I'm shaving my legs, and it's all going great, and then all of a sudden, I decided that I don't need this inch-long strip of skin near my ankle. I don't need it. And then, subsequently, I bled all over my shower, all over my bath mat, and I had to wrap my ankle in toilet paper and secure it with a hairband so that it wouldn't get blood everywhere all over my bathroom. So the moral of my reenactment is be more careful when you shave your legs in the shower, girls. Um, mine is currently scabbing over right now and it itches like crazy. It's gonna turn into a ridiculous scar and it's a scar without even a good story so it's a pointless scar. Just a really good example of me being an idiot. Alright girls, don't freak out. I'm fully clothed. I don't know why I own this much um, flesh-colored clothing, uh, but it served its purpose today. Oh my god, the blood!